Hey everybody, I'm Ken Brandt and I'm an artist. So in this video I'm going to be showing you this uh, painting that I did of a peach. Now as you recall in the last video I did a peach and I was more interested in the contrasting colors of the uh, between the blues and the oranges. So this time I took a different approach and I kept the contrasting colors a little bit, uh, not quite as strong, um, maybe not as prominent within the picture itself. And uh, here's the painting that I did, and it's a uh, the setup is of a peach that I took a bite out of. And what I did is I I did put some blues in here, um, but not it, it's it's not the whole background like in the previous uh, painting that I did of a peach. So I did this video as a um, uh, both time lapse and normal speed. And where there's normal speed, I am doing some explaining as to what I'm doing, um, doing some talking in there. And the areas where I wasn't doing any talking, I just sped those up so uh, you're not sitting there being bored watching me paint at regular speed. Otherwise, it would have been uh, you know like a three-hour video or more. So I got it reduced down for you, at, at, uh, so, so it's you know it's something you can watch uh, within one sitting. So um, uh, as always, if you like my videos, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell uh, icon uh, when you subscribe. That way you'll get always get notifications of when I have a uh, new video posted on YouTube. So uh, until next time, bye. So here's my canvas setup, and over here is my still life setup. You can see I have just a peach sitting on the on a little shelf there with a backdrop, and that is what I'm going to paint today. So we'll just get this all situated here. So I decided to change the position of the angle, or the position of the camera, um, at a different angle because my palette is over on the right hand side and I didn't want to be jumping in front of the camera every time I wanted to grab some paint. So I set it up and I also decided to go with a toned canvas as well. Um, and normally in past videos you've seen that I like to draw in my subject matter real quick before I decide to paint it and this this time I'm just gonna go right for it onto the canvas I'm gonna draw it with uh, with my brush so it's something that I I'll, I'll go back and forth on that so I'm looking at my my peach trying to get the general shape here so yeah, probably right about there. And I want my shelf to be right about here maybe. Well, if it's there, then my peach is kinda like this. Might actually be a little bit higher. So I think that'll be the general shape bite area. Looking at it and I'm like, this is pretty center. I think I might want to bring it over just a little bit here. So now I'm just putting in some background area. So I'll make all these adjustments accordingly as I'm painting along here so I'm just getting the general the general idea of my peach for painting this is always the part of the painting that's it, I call it the ugly duckling stage it's not a pretty part of the painting Basically, you're just getting in your your base colors, 
and you're just plopping them in where they need to go and it's there's sometimes there's almost no rhyme or reason to it it just it just goes in there and you know you just keep playing around with it till it finally gets to a point where you're happy with the colors you got in there and then just I just make my adjustments after that shadow here get that in just kind of see if we can start filling this peach in with some colors oh you can see here I'm just like I'm just looking at the peach I'm seeing where the colors are at and I'm just putting them in I mean there's kind of looks like a mess but you know once everything is in place it starts to make sense hit where I took the bite it's like right in here. Or right at the bottom of that peach. It almost gets into a, a darker red. Along in here. is but first this is where I really like the tone canvas because you can you, know, you put these lighter colors in here and you can really you can really see them I'm not going really heavy with the paint here. This is, after all, the first layer. I consider the first layer. I mean, who knows how many layers I'll go in there and hit that peach. I'm gonna, you just keep painting it until you're happy with what you got. And sometimes, as I've said before, sometimes you just have to wipe it off and start over. Hopefully I won't have to do that. Not one of my favorite things to do but I will do it. Yeah, here's that kind of a bluish shadowy area on the, I really liked. Now it looks really cool. I like that. really nice kind of almost mimics this a little bit so I like how it's how it's working there okay so basically we have the canvas filled with color so now what I'll do is I'll step back take a look at it 
see what it needs, take a look at my setup, see how it compares. And then we'll go from there. Okay, this is where that pit's at, right about in here. So yeah, I mean, I'd like to do a lot of still lifes and um, it's not the, it's not my, my favorite thing to paint though. I think I paint the still lifes mostly because, um, you know, they're great, they're great for practicing, you know, with your, with your painting. I think that's really the number one reason I really go to the still lifes you know they're they're easy to set up you're painting from life and that's always that's always a good thing always painting from life is always a good thing so you know that's that's why I do it I but my favorite thing to paint is figurative painting I love doing figurative painting You can see I'm just putting in, putting in the colors where I think they're needed. You know, I mean, we almost have, we almost have the whole peach filled in. It doesn't look that great at the moment, but once we start really playing with this, getting the colors where we want them to be, you know, changing some of the values here. Um, a lot of times when I'm painting, a lot of times I'll. Uh, I think I've said this in previous videos. I'll go in there and then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put in my colors and then I make my adjustments as I go along. And a lot of people like to have those values set right from the beginning. And I'll tell you what, it is nice when you can do that. But sometimes, you know, when I'm looking at something, I I like to play around with it a little bit. I I do like to experiment a little bit with what I'm what I'm painting, what I'm seeing. Um, a lot of times, it's just not quite as you know black and white, if you want to call it that. It's not quite as you know apparent as it would seem. You know, uh, values is something that's, it's tough to, um, it's very tough to get the values right off the bat. A lot of people will pre-mix their paints, get all the values set. Uh, they'll check, they'll do color checking. And uh, sometimes, like with this painting here, I'm just going right in at it. I'm not, I'm not actually, uh, you know, checking checking my colors I'm looking at what I what I'm seeing and I'm putting in what I'm seeing and that is you know how I'm judging here and so now obviously when you start putting in putting in your colors like for example I know this this part of the peach is in shade and we got the the shadow here because the lights coming in from this direction so I know that this part of the peach will be much darker than what even what I have here now so I'll be making those adjustments as as I'm putting in my colors, you know. So, you know, your darkest darks, I, I know where my darkest darks are, and you can put those in right away. And that's usually pretty easy to do. You know, like I know this is, this is one of my darkest darks over here. Put that in there and I'll... Get a nice dark color mixed here, and I'm using uh, 
I use the raw umber, a little bit of Payne's gray, and I got some cadmium yellow mixed in with this to give it that greenish color. But I want to play with some blues on this because my peach, my peach is orangey in color, reddish, orange, lemon, yellows, and I would like to get some contrasting colors in there definitely for sure to uh, play around with this but in my last painting of the peach that I did I really I did the whole background in blue and my peach is oranges and reds and yellows and um, it was almost too much uh, too much contrasting colors uh, to the point where, you know, sometimes uh, people will look at that and those contrasting colors, they, you know, emotionally, they, they might even annoy you to a point. So, you know, you got to be careful of that. So this, this time I'm going to be paying a little bit more attention to, you know, what we're doing there as far as, as far as contrasting colors go. And, uh. Hopefully it won't be quite as dramatic as it was in the last painting that I did. So it's really just a matter of, you know, playing with the colors, getting what you want in there, play around with them. I mean, this is just an oil painting. It's just, it's a small oil painting. We've got, it's an eight by 10. If it's uh you know, I'll, I'll keep this when it's done, so what? Um, if I really don't like it, I'll paint over it. You know, it's not a, it's not a problem. Uh, some people it is. Some people, you know, you put time into something and they hate to see it go away. But if it's not, if it's not worthy of, you know, it doesn't represent what you were trying to do, then, you know, change it. Make it something else. Oh, that's nice. I like that. There's a nice, nice light color right there. Took some Naples yellow and I added it into the mix. I like what it's, I like how it, it's nice and it's got a nice light greenish color to it. I like that. I can work with that. Yes, indeed. So yeah, I'm just getting in the background colors here. Something, uh, you know, like I said, it's just a mixture of some raw umber, some cadmium yellow, a little bit of orange in there. Um, and that's gonna harmonize the background nicely with the peach, I think, because those colors are also in the peach. So it's kind of, uh, kind of makes it, makes everything kind of work together. I'm just looking at some, you know, the way the light's hitting the folds on my fabric behind the peach. You can see some, you know, there's some creases in there and that I'm just trying to bring those out a little bit before I go crazy on this background. Just kind of setting up where I want those colors. Definitely a nice, 
Nice light area in here. And it comes down a little bit, fades, fades into this darker area just above that shelf. So here we are getting our canvas filled in with color and that's what I like to do really one of the first things I like to do I like to get the canvas completely covered and then I step back and I can really get an idea as to you know how I want to approach you know the next layer of colors Now this white shelf is not, it's not really white. I mean, yeah, it's, it's whitish in color, but it's not, it's not the color white. So we have to keep that in mind. You gotta be careful with the color white. There are no white things in life that I'm aware of. Even paper is not white. Paper is a variation of the color white. I kind of already like what it's doing when you put this put this in here you know how it's it's starting to almost ground the peach into the pitcher I like that I have to go to a bigger brush here though all right so basically I stepped back and I looked at my painting and you can see I used the back of my brush and I just scratched in where I'd like to make some changes I like to make my peach a little bit bigger here and my shadow a little bit longer here so I'll be making those changes right now let's put those where I want those colors that's nice that's a nice color right there I like that it almost it's almost the color of the peach that's good. That's a good choice of color there. I like it. But down at the bottom, it's kind of like a, it's very, it's like a lightish. There's red in there, but it's, it's not quite. Yeah, it's mixing nice with this white here, and it's it's almost just like what I want it. I like that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll mix it in with that color. There you go. That's exactly the color I'm looking for right there. Put in there. Sometimes it just works out. Yeah, I like that. There's a bit of that color over here. little 
hump on that peach right there I want to get. And it's also lighter in color. Right here is the bottom of where that bite is. Yeah, that's better. I like that peach better now. So yeah, like when I'm looking at the you know, I'm looking at my setup, I see the colors of the peach. I'm not, I see some reds, I see oranges, I see yellows, but they're just, they're all blended into each other. So really I'm just taking, what I do is I squint my eyes down and I see what has the most red. Kind of what I do is I break it down. You have to remember that what you're looking at isn't a peach. It is a bunch of shadows and lights in a, you know, with the colors of orange and red and yellow that form the shape of the peach. So you just kind of have to break it down. Where are my light areas? Where are my dark areas? And use those colors. This is almost a complicated area in here where that bite is. There's a lot of little jaggedness and different different things going on here. I have to establish that edge of where the bite is and where it's not. So I'm looking at my light areas and where they're at. I'm squinting. I look and see, okay, there's a light area of yellow right here. And then there's going to be some, so there's some darker areas in here. So eventually when you, you know, once you've worked with enough, your shadows will actually make sense of the lighter areas. And it becomes to, it starts looking like what you want it to look like. like that to be a bit more orangey in there on this edge yeah might actually be a little bit of red in there too
Now where that peach pit is, very darkish, very dark. I mean, we're talking like, there was a spot in there that is just dark. But then there's a light area in here. It's almost a kind of a, it's almost a yellowish ochre color. So I stood back and I'm taking a look at this painting here and I really need to get some more darker areas in here to bring out the highlights within the area where the bite was taken out and this needs to be darkened up a bit. I still want to play with this background a little bit around the bite so it accents it a little bit better. Um, I need to get a better shape to this peach. You know, it's, it's looking okay, but, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a while, let these, let the paint kind of stiffen up a little bit. It's a little bit easier to work into, you know, get some darker colors in there, get some lights, you know, on top of a, a stiffer paint. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it sit and then uh, we'll get back to it and we'll make it look very nice. Okay, so I've stepped back from the painting, let it sit for a day, and um, you know I keep looking at it. I'm really unhappy with it. I I came like like this close to just wiping the whole thing off and just starting over, but I have a really good base here for what I'm thinking I would like to do. So basically, what I'm thinking is all right. I want this area to be my focal point, but m really more like here, there's going to be some highlights right in here, so that's going to be like my focal point, but that whole area should like illuminate, and it doesn't at this point, point. and my values are really light, and so what I'm thinking of doing, you know, I'm, I'm, like what if, what if I had, like what if the light was just coming down and just hitting just this area and illuminating it, so the rest of this peach would really be in shadow, and the background's gonna be a lot darker. This shadow will be a lot more prominent. It's gonna be a little bit more color in here on the table. So I'm, I'm, I need to change this up and really make it work. So basically that's what I'm gonna do. This is all going to be dark. And 
this is all going to be dark. And basically, I'm just going to darken up the whole thing. Change all these values. Okay, now I'm going to start darkening up this peach the way I'd like this like it to be.
For coaching and information on how to move your painting to the next level, make sure you give me a call at area code 607-481-9442. That's area code 607-481-9442. And make sure you visit my website at kennethbrandt.com. And while you're there, sign up for my email newsletter and be uh, placed into a drawing for a free painting. So again, remember, visit KennethBrandt.com and call area code 607-481-9442.